Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, we're going to talk about should you actually create a calculated column or a measure? But before we actually speak about this, let's just first try to understand the differences there are between the two. And let's just go figure out what should you actually create. All right, let's just talk about columns first. So columns are only calculated once, once you define the calculation as a column. And obviously it's going to be calculated again once you refresh the model, but not every single time once you create a visual. And also columns take storage space, just like the other data, which is fed into your Power BI file, they take the storage space, which also means that it can actually bloat your Power BI file once you create more and more calculated columns. And also if you define a very complicated calculation as a column, it might also slow down the refresh of your model. Now let's just talk about measures. Measures are absolutely dynamic, meaning once you write a measure, the calculation of that measure will only happen once you drag that measure to a visual otherwise not, which also means that uh, the measure is not going to take any storage space. Needless to say that the measure can also slow down the speed of the model, but uh, the slow measures can certainly be fixed. All right, now that we've taken a look at the measure and the column, let's just take a look at what should you actually create? Should you create a measure or should you create a calculated column? Now, I want you to follow the simple rule. For all dimensions, I want you to actually create a column. And for all calculations, you should actually create a measure. Now, before we proceed, it's important to understand what exactly do you mean by a dimension and what exactly are calculations? So whenever somebody says that, hey, show me total sales by months, total sales is the calculation and whatever comes after the word, by is a dimension. Take a look at another example. Show me total sales by product category. Total sales is again a calculation and the word after by is the dimension, which is the product category. Now it may happen that at times your model does not have the dimension. And in that case, you will have to create a dimension using a calculated column. Let's just take a look at this example. So somebody says that, hey, show me total sales by price range. And let's just say that if we do not have the price range as a column, we'll have to create that as a calculated column, right? Now, the other way to think about dimensions as well as calculations is this. So whenever you are creating a pivot table or like a chart or something, all the dimensions, they actually go in the axis. So just take a look at this pivot table. The dimensions are there in the rows of the pivot table or the dimensions are there in the column of the pivot table. So if you actually want to drag something in the rows or the columns of the pivot table, or perhaps drag something in the axis of the chart, or maybe in the slicer, you will actually create a calculated column. The measures cannot be dragged in the rows or the columns or the axis of the chart. And whatever you put in the value section of the pivot table or in the chart, that all is nothing but a measure. So that's another way of taking a look at what are dimensions and what are calculations. All right, that's about it. Short video for today. And if you have any questions around this, please feel free to put them down in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.